Ero Rangatirama, Ina Rayo, Ina Mana, Tina Koto Kato. Evening, everyone. That I would jump online um, quickly and just check in with everyone, really. You are not alone. You will hear us and see us daily as we guide New Zealand through this period. If I could distill it down into one concept that we are pursuing in New Zealand, it is simple and it is this, kindness. But even the ugliest of viruses can exist in places they are not welcome. I knew that a job had to be done and I did absolutely believe I could do it. It's a real pleasure to introduce our little one to you all and to New Zealand. Does it feel momentous that you are the first Prime Minister to walk in a bike way? Probably should have happened a while ago. I know, I Today, the government is phasing out single use plastic shopping bags over the next. So, we're trying to lead the way in becoming the most sustainable food producer in the world. We're here because our world is warming. Undeniably, it is warming. The speech by Greta Thunberg, a 16 yeah. year old, challenging the leaders of the world. Do you think the world leaders heard her? Well, I certainly do. I am so happy to have such an articulate, exciting, young, beautiful leader in our country. I love you. You're like the opposite of Trump. <laughs> I spoke with Donald Trump this morning. He asked what offer of support uh, the United States could provide. Uh, my message was sympathy and love for all Muslim communities. That's right, that's right. In 2017, she took office as one of the world's youngest leaders at the age of 37. Since then, she's enacted a groundbreaking family leave policy. For instance, 26 weeks paid parental leave How in many New Zealand. Weeks? 26. Become the first head of state to bring their baby to the floor of the UN. Can I be a prime minister and a mother? Absolutely. After the tragic shooting at a mosque in Christchurch, she called for legislation to ban semi-automatic weapons and got it passed within one month. Now, and so when it was described to me the weapons that were used and how easily they were obtained, I just went down and said gun laws need to change and they will. He may have sought notoriety, but we in New Zealand will give him nothing, not even his name. To those who have lost or are missing family and friends, we share in your grief and sorrow and we are devastated. For everyone who's sent anything, even a comment on Facebook, we're so grateful. So, thank you very much. Kia ora koutou Aotearoa. On the 1st of April at 4.20pm, we are going to unite together from our own homes to show our collective appreciation for Jacinda Ardern, as well as all the medical personnel that are on the front lines fighting this war for us. The Europeans have shown us how they do it, so we're going to show the world how Kiwis do it. Raise a glass, bang some jandals, sing a song, dance, scream, shout, cry if you must. Live stream your friends, video call your family, and let's all unite together as one. And many of you don't realize this, but it's a very historic day. As on the 1st of April, 2020, New Zealand officially legalizes medicinal cannabis. And that I hope means the next generation will see that we, in New Zealand, were on the right side of history. Tato Tato, Asalam Alakum. We only have a few days to make this happen, but social media is so powerful when used for the right reasons. So please start sharing with your friends and family now. Kia kaha Aotearoa.